How are you, how you going to try to explain what I'm tasting? Those are my taste buds. I own those taste buds. Hey, at the beginning of this journey, I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. I didn't know how it was going to feel. And I honestly have had my mind changed. With almost every fast food chain serving their own plant-based burger now, how do you know which one to get? We wonder the same thing. So let's find out which one is the best. What's going on, everybody? We are back with another incredible food challenge. We got Ooh. Ben Franklin. Ooh. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, Ben, are you a big plant-based guy? I'm a huge burger fan, and I've been eating more and more plant-based burgers recently. So yeah. Man, I'm excited because today we're going all vegan. So we are going to be trying seven of the major fast food chains' plant-based burgers and comparing them to their real meat version. Expect the impossible. Starting off our plant-based fast food competition, we got the Impossible Whopper. Expect the impossible. This has everything that your regular Whopper has, except the patty is not made out of meat. Impossible Whopper. First off, can you tell that's not beef? Not really, it tastes similar. It tastes pretty good, but I would say it definitely it is lacking some of that real beef flavor. And what's the difference between Impossible and Beyond Burger? The protein they use to make the Beyond Burger is from like a pea. The impossible with is more soy. We are going to be trying the real beef whopper now. Real beef whopper. Let's go. It's not that different to me. Really? To I, me. I was gonna say this is way better. I'm torn between 4.5 and 4 on the impossible whopper. Wow. I cannot give the impossible whopper any higher than a 3.5. I for sure tasted the difference with that beef pet. I think what you're tasting is just that it was saltier. How are you, how are you gonna try to explain what I'm tasting? Those are my taste buds. I own those taste buds. I give it a four out of five. Four out of five? Three point five out of five. Possible Whopper, four out of five. Next. Next up on our plant-based burger challenge, we've got Fat Burger. Ooh. Whoa. This this is a fat patty. Yo, that, the Fat Burger Yo. comes like this. It has nothing in it. There's nothing in this. Whoa. <laughs> Foul. Foul, bro. Fat Burger. Mmm. Man. I don't know, Fat Burger. Tell me this was 10 bucks. That was like 10 bucks, man. This from oh. Fat Burger was $10. I don't know, the 2.5. Wow. Five. What are we rolling with that? We're going with the three. It's not that juicy. It's not as flavorful as some other burgers I've tasted. It's mediocre. I wasn't feeling the bun that much either. Yo, yeah. that was a public school bun, man. I don't know if we're going to ever work with Fat Burger, but that gets a two out of five, bro. Just for the error of not having any sort of condiments and other <laughs> Yo, what ingredients. Was going on? This is straight up one of those kids who's like, I don't like lettuce. I don't like tomato. I don't like onion. I don't like mayo. All right, this is what you get. Hey, if they, if they have the meat version and that has lettuce, it's a Look at the way they did the meat. What? Are you serious? All right, guys, this is Fat Burger's Real Beef Burger. Like, Fat Burger's just, in my opinion, just not really coming with it. Get out of here! Dude, I wasn't even feeling these fries either. Number three on our list of plant-based burgers, we have the newcomer, Shake Shack. Woo! Shack that shakes. Hey. Here we have the Shroom Burger. This is 770. Then this is one of the most well-liked burgers at Shake Shack. It's not actually like fake meat trying to be meat. It's actually just mushroom. This is the Veggie Shack. This is 730. And of course you have the Shack Burger at 520. Let's be honest, the Veggie Shack looks pretty dope. Really well put together. The pickles are sliced nicely. Lettuce is placed in there just how it should be. And look at that color. Is that a, is that a magenta fuchsia? Yeah. <laughs> That's the interior of a uh, Ibach. Yeah, what's the joint with the stars on the top? We don't know, we don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> veggie Shack. I can actually see the vegetables inside of this veggie patty. It took me through a whole journey. First of mm -hmm. all, that pickle, I'm gonna say that, that pickle is very pickle. I'm trying to figure out what I'm tasting right now. It's actually pretty good. It does not taste like meat. It doesn't taste like meat, it has a lot of bean flavor. Honestly, I, I would give it a four. That entire burger by itself, I might have to give it a 4.5. I'm gonna go with a four, but if you're a vegan and a health fanatic, you might get this a five. This looks like a chicken sandwich or like a Funyun ring or something. So basically, that is a fried mushroom stuffed with cheese. Wow! Look at that fatty oh, mushroom, bro. Shroom Just sack. The mushroom burger. I would give this the shroom burger even without the patty, maybe like. 3.5? Yeah, I give it a 4 out of 5. I'm going 4.5. Whoa! Oh, yeah? Hold yeah. up! I feel like I'm giving it in comparison to the beet burger, because um, I gave that a 4. This one, I like the texture a little more. It's got some crunch to it. 4.5. Well, let me change my score to a 4, then. I don't know. Can I Why, why are you influenced by us? 
Now stand it's on good. your own. Stand on your own. Aren't you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm slowing down a little bit. Really? You guys slowing down? You guys are that point. I think you ate too much of that uh, fat burger, that's what I mean. Now, we are gonna compare to the actual beef Shake Shack burger. First of all, can we say Shake Shack kept the burgers looking the most commercial? Like, they look the best. They did. They look By the way, if you like this video so far, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click subscribe to our channel and check out Ben's links down below. The Shack Burger, real beef. For the veggie one? Give me the shroom <clears throat> burger over everything. When I was a wee little kid and I hated mushrooms, I hated them, my sister loved them. But then I came around and, and uh, I'm very accepting and loving of mushrooms now, so. My favorite thing was actually the veggie patty. Yeah? For me. I respect it, don't agree. I'm right there with you as far as the shroom burger goes. That's like the most unique thing I ate all day. Definitely stands out, but the original Shack Burger, it's a staple in burger culture, man. Woo! Yo, you guys, this has gotta be the most burgers I've ate in a long time. Hey. Now we are moving on to Carl's Jr. Beyond Famous Star Burger. Wow, this, you guys, you guys, this is not an impossible from brand, Beyond Meat. Who invests in Beyond Meat? Kyrie Irving, JJ Redick, you said a bunch of NBA players. Sean White, snowboarder, big one. This, this, I, I'm just gonna call this the Kyrie brand. That's how I know it. Beyond famous star. Wow, wow. Okay, look at this. All right, immediately the way they cooked the patty, they did a good job with the lettuce and the onions. It's very well put together, very neat. I think the cheese is nicely uh, holding the patty to the top of the bun. <clears throat> Really juicy. Damn. Really juicy. Damn. I have to go in for a second bite, and I, I've had a lot of bites so far. It's dripping. My gut reaction is I think this is the best fake meat patty we had today, in my opinion. I like this better than the Whopper. I'm standing by that. Unpopular opinion? It's definitely up there, bro. The Beyond Meat doesn't taste as much like meat to me. This overall, this Carl's Jr. burger was the best burger in the sub $10 category. Right. However, whoa, there's something about the texture of it that doesn't, it almost like in a weird way feels too juicy. Regular, Regular famous star, control variable. So shout out to my friend. This man, I remember ruined his credit score eating fast food. He maxed out his credit cards and you, you wouldn't, you would say, how could you do that, right? This guy went into Subway. One time I saw him order a $16 sub at Subway. Oh, <laughs> all right guys, we are down to our last two. This is our last round. We have the Habit Burger and Grill versus Umami Burger. Habit Veggie Cheeseburger is not beyond, it is not impossible. There is this uh, brand called Morningstar and it is their own patty. The, the Habit, Habit Veggie, Veggie Burger. Burger. Right off the bat, I like the uh, oat, honey oat wheat bun that they have here. Habit, I believe is from California, so you know, it's got the cucumbers. From Santa Barbara. Oh yeah. This looks nice though. This looks kind of like a commercial like. Yeah. So this Morningstar patty is actually primarily made out of mushrooms, protein, soy, brown rice, and onions. I mean, it kind of tastes like a salad bar. Does it not? It doesn't taste like a burger. I didn't think it was bad. It wasn't the it wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. Three, three. Five. I'm gonna give it a three point five out of five. I, I give it a three total. Three, okay. But it's a soft three. Dude, you have vegans in your family, right? Yeah, yeah. My what? sister's a vegan. So what, what do you think? So she's rolling with that of everything that we had. If you had to guess, uh, she loves the Umami's Impossible Burger. I think she'll roll with that one. Okay. Well, guess okay. what? That's a perfect transition. Last but not least. On our seven plant-based burger crawl, you guys, we've got Umami Burger. This is the premium of the premium, uh, the original high-end burger here in LA. Guys, these burgers are so expensive, we didn't get three burgers, we only got two. <laughs> you can get an Impossible Patty, but throw on eggs and bacon on top. Wow. This is the Impossible Umami Burger. It has roasted tomatoes, grilled shiitake. Crispy Parmesan. Crispy Parmesan. Crispy. Crispy. Impossible, Impossible umami. umami. First things first, I taste the mushroom as soon as I bit it. That tastes different than everything yeah, else we yeah, have. It tastes really different. This is this is fine dining right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. But I would say, man, that umami burger was different. Yeah, because they did a really good job with the minced onions. To be fair, it does not fully taste like a burger. Though. Would you agree? 
I give it a four out of five. Four. Woo! Four. Unanimous fours across the board. This is our last Impossible Burger of the day. This is the Sunny Side Up Impossible Burger. By all means, this burger that you're looking at right now is not vegan. It has bacon and eggs. Garlic mayo, white cheddar, crispy potatoes. This is the Sunny Side Up Impossible Burger. Yo, I hit a wall, guys. The most burgers ever. Yo, I hit a wall, guys. I, I didn't think we were going to make it this far. Oh, man. My body is struggling to digest all these burgers. How about this? If beef is playoff Dane Lillard, mm -hmm. then ooh, Impossible Burgers or plant-based burgers are like Jamal Murray. Similar, but just Different. without without the 40-foot game winners. I don't know. Common misconception, plant-based burgers are bad. False. Mm. Let's kill that noise right now. What, do you think we would ever get to a point where it's steaks? Steak. Oh, Impossible Steaks? I think so. I think they're already making them. Hell yeah. <laughs> Guys. What are your overall takeaways from this uh, seven to 11, you know, burger journey that we've been on? Just in general, I'm definitely more open to getting plant-based burgers. You know, one thing I realized is that really every time I felt bad during this journey, it was actually after eating the control. Whoa! I guess, would you recommend that people go out there and, and, and check out the plant-based burgers now? Yeah, most definitely, man. Um, health is wealth, so at some point, you're gonna have to start looking how to take care of your body, and this is a perfect, perfect opportunity to do that while still eating something that's really good. We all hoop together, and there's no wonder that so many pro athletes are promoting plant-based burgers. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say, at the beginning of this journey, I didn't know what the outcome was gonna be. I didn't know how it was gonna feel, and I honestly have had my mind changed about plant-based burgers. I am a fan of plant-based burgers wow. an hour and a half later. All right, everybody, in the comments down below, let us know what's another plant-based dish that we should try because I'm, I'm curious about them now. I wanna, I wanna hear about all of them. Peak my interest. And then also let us know another idea that we should have for this kind of mukbang style video. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this. Do shout out Ben Franklin from Philadelphia. And until next time, we out. Thanks. Peace. Yeah. So I don't know, Andrew, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, if they can do plant-based fried chicken, I'll try it. I would try it. It's the least we could do. Try.